Harry not welcomed by Anne and Sophie Wessex at Philip's funeral, unearthed accounts, Prince Harry was not welcomed by Princess Anne and Sophie Wessex at the funeral of Prince Philip last year, according to a royal expert. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have reportedly been invited to spend time at Balmoral this summer. Queen Elizabeth II has embarked on her 10-week stay at the Scottish Royal Residence and other members of the royal family are expected to travel to the castle for short periods during the monarch's stay. Her Majesty travels north every summer for an extended stay at the large estate in Aberdeenshire, and it is widely thought to be the 96-year-old monarch's favourite home. We all know that has-been is not the sharpest tool in the shed but is so ignorant expecting a warm welcome after poisoning the last days of Prince Philip, trashing everything he stood for. I think Harry's brain has a size of a bean. At best. Princess Anne doesn't appear to be the type of person who suffers fools gladly, so who would be surprised if she didn't welcome has-been with open arms? Likewise, Sophie is very close to the Queen so again it was hardly surprising if she was cold towards him, HRH the Countess of Wessex is wonderful and so very loyal to Her Majesty. I'm not surprised she ignored him and we should all applaud her for it. Well done ma'am. It marked the first royal engagement Meghan had carried out since her exit and the first for Harry since Prince Philip's funeral last year. The Duke of Edinburgh's funeral came just a month after Meghan and Harry sat down for their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. I can't believe there's any tension between the toxic two and members of the royal family. What could they have done to cause such a situation? Apart from going on the Oprah Winfrey show and publicly trashing them. Why on earth would that create ill blood? All eyes were on Harry and his older brother Prince William, whose relationship was said to be particularly strained following the Sussexes' tell-all interview. The author of William and Harry, Behind the Palace Walls mentioned the long-awaited encounter between the two brothers as they left the chapel, describing it as a performance for the cameras, but also revealed two other royals who weren't entirely pleased to see the Duke of Sussex. Speaking on the publication's podcast, Dynasty, Ms. Nichols said, certain family members, Princess Anne, for example, and Sophie Wessex, who was incredibly close to the Queen, were not overly welcoming to Harry. In fact, I was told that Harry went back to America feeling even more ostracized from his family. Both Anne and Sophie, Countess of Wessex were particularly close with the late prince. Eileen Parker, the wife of Philip's close friend Mike Parker, told the Daily Mail in 2017, Philip always had more fun with Anne. Charles is more like the Queen, while Anne is very like Prince Philip. Sophie, the wife of the Queen and Philip's youngest son Prince Edward, shared a close bond with her father-in-law and was even the first royal to speak publicly following his death. Meghan did not attend the funeral as she was heavily pregnant at the time, instead staying at home in California and watching it on the television. Ms. Nichols said, Meghan had always liked Philip. And Meghan had actually sent a note with a beautiful flower arrangement, which included some of Philip's favorite blooms, to be displayed on the green at Windsor Castle. While the event was scaled back due to coronavirus regulations at the time, Ms. Nichol noted how it was the first major royal event since Meghan and Harry's royal wedding, which was also held at St. George's Chapel. Earlier this year there was speculation that Harry and Meghan may return for Prince Philip's memorial service, which provided an opportunity for more people who were unable to attend the small funeral to commemorate the life and legacy of the Prince Consort. However, amid security concerns surrounding their police protection while in the UK, it was confirmed that they would not be in attendance. 
the Duke is fighting against a 2020 decision by the Home Office that denied his family police protection while in Britain after he and the Duchess stepped down from senior working roles. On Friday, Harry scored an early victory in the legal battle when a judge ruled that the case can go to the High Court in London, meaning he will face off with the Home Office in court. Harry has said he wants police protection for his family while on British soil and is willing to pay for the cost himself, Omid Scobby, the co-author of Finding Freedom, told ABC News on Monday. He says that since birth, he's been born into a world that requires a level of security. Not just to keep himself safe, but also his extended family, the people he marries, the children he has, it comes after the Sussexes renewed their lease on their former royal residence, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, which is now understood to be unoccupied as Princess Eugenie and her family recently moved out. The lease renewal has sparked speculation that Harry and Meghan may be planning to return to the UK more often in the future. I wonder why. Anne would have liked to smack him with the yard broom while Sophie had hold of a certain bit of his anatomy, what's left, dot and why, while his 99-year-old grandfather was in hospital Harry thought it would be acceptable, on account of being far more important of course, to have a cozy chat with Oprah, whilst his wife sung her heart out with fibs. Personally, Harry shouldn't have come to the funeral, lucky to escape with teeth intact. Considering the overwhelming sense of grief at the demise of Prince Philip, can we be surprised that Harry would not be overtly welcomed by his daughter and much-loved and favorite daughter-in-law? We only have to look at Harry's behavior just weeks before the funeral and the dreadful parody with Oprah Winfrey which no doubt hastened the death of the D of E. According to The Sun, the royal staff was told to expect the full list of royals, including the Sussexes and their two children. However, it has since been claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are not planning to leave their Montecito mansion for a visit to the Scottish Highlands anytime soon. Page 6 reported that Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, were not invited to visit the Duke's grandmother, citing multiple sources. Meghan and Harry last month returned to the UK with their children, three-year-old Archie Harrison and one-year-old Lilibet Diana, for the first time since their shock exit in 2020. They joined the royal family to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, and while the momentous occasion seemed like the perfect opportunity for reconciliation, it appears that tensions remain. The couple attended just one public event, the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral, during the four-day weekend. Please understand that those of us in the U.S. are not fans of Harry and Meghan. I support a number of charities but wouldn't give a penny to Archwell. It's run by grifters. And please stop giving Scooby so much credit. He is good at planning stories but not at telling the truth. He seems to forget that when you leave a job you also leave behind the perks, the company car, the keys, pass cards, and laptop. If you want security for you, the Harridan and two invisible kids you pay for it, you don't live here so why should you be supported by the taxpayers? Princess Anne is a highly intelligent woman and is incredibly shrewd when it comes to judging character. She had Diana and Fergie sussed as silly girls that would only end up causing grief for themselves and others in the family by their ridiculous behavior. Meghan Markle was just Mark III of the type of unsuitable choice for a royal wife in the 20th century. Why on earth would they want to return here? To a country that's racist, supported slavery, is openly antagonistic to their ideals, dreams and ambitions to be the most important, the most beautiful, the most magical, oh, hang on a minute, that was Bacchus, any way to this place that makes Planck so ill, triggers his IBS and Tourette's, not to mention his neuroses. Oh, I get it now, without a British royal connection, they're just sheep good. Tensions between the Sussexes and the royal family were reportedly at an all-time high, so when Harry returned to the UK for his grandfather's funeral, he did not receive the warmest of welcomes. 
Vanity Fair's royal correspondent Katie Nichol claimed particular members of the royal family were not overly welcoming to the prince.